All right. Happy sunrise, everyone. I know it's actually a little earlier than sunrise, so I'm glad to see so many beautiful faces here live and early. I know there's a couple catching the recording as well, so very grateful to be here with everyone today. For those of you that do not know me, my name is Mary Jane, and we're going to be diving into our New Year, New Moon, 10-Day Prosperity Meditation. This is a very potent time to dive into and just creating that consistency for ourselves and having a morning sunrise practice is a beautiful way to start the day to really give us our energy and even just tune in and dial in on what are the things that we really need to focus on and really do. Um, if you don't already have a journal next to you, I really encourage having a journal. So when we're in meditation or when we're in this practice, if anything comes to you at any time, I encourage you to pull yourself out of it and jot it down because if we're meditating for 11 minutes or however long we may be in a practice, a lot of times if something comes in the first couple of minutes, we might not remember it 11 minutes later to write it down. So as things start to come in and you are your own channel for divine information to come through. So as things are coming through and you're channeling, allow yourself to write it down. Or maybe it seems like you don't need to write it down. Allow yourself to stay in it and move through the waves that come with this practice. So just as kind of an overview, we are going to be diving in for 10 days. Uh, 10, uh, we're going to be doing 30 minutes a day for 10 days straight from 7 a.m. to 7.30 a.m. The Zoom link is the same every single day. I will send that in the email after every class as well so you consistently have that. Uh, kind of a class flow outline, we're going to be tuning in. So the mantra that I shared in the chat, let me know if you need it again. I'll also send it in the email tonight as well. Uh, we're going to be tuning in with this mantra uh, that will be warming up. We'll be diving into an 11-minute meditation, doing a short shavasana, and tuning out. That's our flow for class. I just wanted to kind of give you a heads up because we're going to keep things moving and dive right in because 30 minutes really isn't much time, but it's also enough time to really allow a potent practice to be developed and created. So if you're not already in a comfortable seated position, you can find if you have a bolster or a cushion or something to up-level your hips on, you can always bring that in as well. And just move some of that flesh aside so we can really feel our sit bones rooted and grounded on the floor with a nice elongated spine. And then let's bring our hands together in front of our heart center. Create a little heat, build a little energy there. Let me just make sure our music's all the way turned down. And we're gonna tune in with the mantra, Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. This might be a brand new mantra for some of you. Some of you that we were in the first 10 day series would be very familiar. So I'm just gonna do a call and response first. So repeat after me. Ong. Ong. Uh, actually, let's make sure we're all muted as well. So repeat after me. Ong. Namo. Guru Dev. Namo. Beautiful. Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. Beautiful. If you don't have it yet, don't worry. You can just tune in and be in that vibration. You can pull up the words and just even humming and just bringing yourself into that vibration and that frequency. All right. So again, let's just feel a little heat in the hands. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, setting the hands of the heart center, allowing the eyes to close, gazing up and in towards the third eye. As we tune in with the mantra, Ang Namo Guru Dev Namo, we're going to call upon our higher self to be present during this practice, inviting in our angels, our guides, our light beings, and any other energies that you wish to be present in this practice here today. Let's take a deep breath in to tune. We're going to do this in a one breath chant today. Inhale deep. Om Namo. Guru Namo. Inhale through the nose. Oh, Namo. Guru Namo. One more round. Oh, Namo. Guru Namo. Inhale deep and hold the breath. Draw the gaze to the third eye as the energy raises through the spine. Keep in the hands of the heart center. Exhale. 
Our next mantra is a protection mantra. I invite you to chant along or be in the vibration as you imagine a golden beam of light spiraling around your energetic and your physical body, offering a shield of protection. Inhale deep. Inhale, spend the breath. Gently lifting the rectum, sex organ, navel point, gaze to the third eye. Allow the energy to rise like an elevator connecting to the third eye, the pineal gland, the pituitary gland. And then when you're ready, exhale, keeping the hands of the heart center and the eyes closed. Let's allow a moment to set an intention for this practice. This is day one out of 10 of this 10 day prosperity meditation. What are you really hoping to cultivate and create in this 10 days? What energy are you wanting to start to stir up to bring into reality into your life? Maybe you start to see and feel into that visual that you wanna create. And let's take a deep breath in, bringing this vision to every cell in the body. And exhale, release the hands from the heart. And let's make our way over onto all four hands and knees. We're gonna start with cat cow to start to open the spine. Align the shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees. Inhale, the chin up, belly dips. Exhale, around the spine. Inhale, guiding the chin up, belly dips. Exhale round. Let's allow the eyes to gently close, connecting the gaze to the third eye. We're gonna keep every breath connected with movement, connected with mantra. Inhale, sat. Exhale, nam. Sat nam, truth is my vibration or my essence. Keep moving and breathing here. I'm gonna get a little music started. Inhaling, sat. Exhale, nam. Starting to awaken the cerebral spinal fluid in our spine. As that starts to activate, it starts to go all the way up the spinal column, the pineal gland, the pituitary gland, heightening our vision and our connection with source. We're gonna be here for about a minute. Take a deep breath in, hold the chin up. Draw the gaze to the third eye. Exhale around the spine. Inhale, flat back. And exhale, surrender the hips down for child's pose. Taking a couple deep breaths here in child's pose, maybe we start to bring in some breaths of gratitude. What can we really be grateful for in this moment? Simply showing up is something we can be grateful for. Having our eyes wake up, our heart beating, our breath moving through our lungs, what can we find gratitude for right now, right here in this moment? Let's slowly start to crawl the fingers up and we'll make our way over onto our sit bones back in easy pose. A little Kundalini favorite, Ego Radicator. So we're gonna curl the fingers down, extending the thumbs out. The arms are gonna go up to 60 degrees. And then we're gonna begin to pump the navel point with breath of fire. 
If this breath is new to you, it's an equal inhale to exhale, pumping the navel point, allowing the diaphragm to kind of press the air out of the lungs, allowing the inhale to happen naturally. It'll look like this. Gently pulsing the navel, arms are extended. Let's allow the eyes to close, gazing up to the third eye. Really charging energy through our arms, creating this beautiful auric space around you. An energetic field of protection, resilience. Let's pulse the navel, gaze to the third eye. If you're pregnant or in the first couple of days, your moon cycle, long, deep breathing. Just want to touch on it since I know we have a pregnant woman in the course. Long, deep breathing if you're pregnant because you want to keep more of that downward flow of energy. Everyone else, we're allowing that energy to rise up to the third eye. With pregnancy, you can still keep the gaze connected to the third eye, but just channeling that long, deep breathing. Otherwise, pulsing the navel point about 20 more seconds here. I know your arms or shoulders might be burning just a little bit longer. Find your strength here. 10 seconds. Beautiful, take a deep breath in, thumbs connect overhead. Holding the breath, open the palms wide, gaze to the third eye, allowing yourself to be a conduit for energy and prosperity to flow into and through. When you're ready to exhale, sweep the arms right wide, clearing any fear that's holding you back, allowing the fingers to connect to the earth, sending any density down to Panchamama. The hands can remain on the lap with the palms face up and just allow a moment to breathe, feeling and sensing into the body. I'll take a couple nice deep breaths. I'll next be coming into our prosperity meditation. So if you need, I would encourage to make yourself comfortable. We will be meditating for 11 minutes. I am bringing out my big old meditation chair this round. <laughs> Very supportive on the legs and the knees. All right, so our prosperity meditation, we are going into tantric par. So some of you are familiar that, with this, some of this is brand new to you. So we're gonna find ourselves in a nice, comfortable seated position. So have a nice elongated spine. If you have any problems with the knees, you can always sit on a chair, the side of the sofa. If you're on the sofa, I encourage you not to like cash you into the couch. Make sure we're on the edge on our sit bones so we have that nice elongated spine. And then we're gonna hold our hands up, connecting our pinky sides or the moon mounds of our hands together with the palms face up. And then we're gonna rotate the hands over and they'll, so essentially our mantra is gonna look like this or the mudra, I mean the movement of our hands. And when the hands connect with the palms face down, we're gonna connect uh, the Jupiter finger or a pointer finger when the thumbs cross and then the right thumb will cross under the left. Then the hands will flip back over, the moon mounds connect and we keep moving the hands in that motion kind of around the heart and the area of the throat. If that doesn't make sense, just let me know. You'll definitely catch on throughout the 10 days. Today's kind of the most explanation on it. So we're gonna have our hands moving, our spine is nice and elongated our eyes are either going to be fully closed or just halfway open about a tenth, gazing down towards the tip of the nose. So we're channeling the energy down towards the tip of the nose, even kind of down towards the center of our palms as if we're creating this magic right here in front of our, our heart. And then we got another thing we're adding on. We are also going to be chanting the, the mantra HAR, H-A-R. You might hear it a little bit in the background. HAR is creative infinity. So every time the hands meet with the palms face down, we're gonna chant HUD, HUD. It kind of starts to sound like HUD, like H-U-D, but it is an R and the tongue on the R kind of flicks the roof of the mouth. That is a marma point right there. So we are continuing to activate that creative force and that creative energy in our body. I know this is kind of a lot, so let's run through it real quick and then we're gonna dive in for 11 minutes. So we're sitting up nice and elongated. Let's bring our hands together with the palms face down. 
That's when we're going to chant Har. The hands will flip, the moon mounds connect. And it said that bringing the moon and Jupiter, Jupiter being the pinky, the moon mound being here, is said to create prosperity and abundance. So we're going to chant Har every time the hands connect. And the gaze is traveling down towards the tip of the nose. I know it's a lot. If you forget one of them, it's totally okay. So we're going to dive in. Do your best. And we're going to be here for a little bit. Make sure the shoulders are relaxed. Keep moving and chanting. Gaze down towards the tip of the nose. We're here for a little bit longer.
हर 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 Let's take a deep breath in, cupping the hands in front of your heart center. And exhale, release the breath out, holding the hands here, allowing the gaze to settle down towards the center of the palms. Take a deep breath in, holding the breath at the top. Gently lift the rectum, sex organ, navel point, gaze to the third eye. Allow yourself to become a channel for prosperity and abundance to flow through. And exhale, releasing the breath. If it feels good, you can release the hands and come to make your way on your back. And come to a short Shavasana. Shavasana is important because it allows the energy to circulate and move through the body fully. If you wish you could put a hand on your heart, a hand on the belly.
Take a deep breath in, bringing gentle movement to the fingers and the toes, rounding the wrists and ankles. Reach the arms overhead, pointing the toes long, find space in the spine. And let's hug our right knee into the chest, crossing it to the left. A nice little supine twist or cat stretch. And gently come through center and make your way to the opposite side. Left knee hugs in, crosses over to the right. And then flowing back through center, you can hug both knees in and rub the bottoms of the feet and the pads of the hands together. Grounding us, connecting us to the sacred net mother beneath our feet. And let's rock and roll two to three times on the spine. If that's not the practice, you can roll to one side and then make your way up back to seated pose. Gathering the hands in front of the heart center in prayer pose. Allowing the eyes to gently close. And in Kundalini Yoga, we tune out with the long time sun. I invite you to sing along if you're familiar with the words. Or I just invite you to be in the presence, sending this energy to yourself and to those all around you. Sunshine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on. May the long time sunshine upon. Satnam, may this practice of abundance and prosperity to continue to flow through you through the day, through this week, and invite you to, to invite in gratitude. Gratitude is another form of prosperity energetically. So let's take a deep breath in and exhale. Satnam, thank you all so much. And for the journal prompt for today, at the end of each practice, I'll be giving us a journal prompt and also send it out in the email as well. Uh, today, we are going to do 11 gratitude statements. The statements are going to start with, I am grateful. And you can finish that sentence. If you feel called to go beyond 11, of course, feel free to go beyond 11. Um, yeah, just want to make sure I have nothing else to touch on. Yeah, so for gra uh, gratitude, 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 gratitude. If anybody has any questions or anything, please let me know. I know um, somebody said that they had a little audio issue and that the music seemed a little quiet on their side. Um, is that like that for anybody else? I'm just kind of curious. Otherwise, if anything was weird, let me know. And I'll try to keep tuning things on my side. Um, but beautiful. I think I counted at, I think we had about 11 or 12 of us total within here and within the house. So that's beautiful. The energy of all of us coming together and like that collective energy is beautiful. So I really appreciate everyone showing up live and being a part of the recording. The energy is going to be 
transformative. So thank you all and look forward to seeing you all at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. I'll be here for a little bit too if anybody has any questions or anything. Thank you all, Satnam.